Now, in this example, I have the cube root of negative 125a to the third power. And for a lot of students, a lot of students are, are OK with the smaller numbers. You're OK with square numbers. You're OK with the smaller numbers. But once we start getting into larger numbers, students start to freak out. And then they start saying, I, please. They really start having problems with determining what are going to be your values. So the best thing that you guys can do is do what we call a factor tree. And hopefully you guys remember factor trees. Oh, yeah. Basically what a factor tree does is it allows you to write the prime factorization of a number by breaking down, by breaking down a number using its factors. So basically if I'm just going to look at this, I could say, all right, 125, and we'll do negative. We'll worry about the negative here in a second. But if I was going to break down 125, what I want to do is break down what are some numbers that divide into 125? 25 times? Well, it goes in there. 25 goes into 125 five times. Then, can I break down 5 anymore? Except for 5 times 1? But I can break down 25, which is 5 times 5. So, what we see is that although, ladies and gentlemen, we're not trying to figure out negative 125, or 125, we're trying to figure out negative 125. So therefore, I can rewrite this as negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5. And then the a is a times a times a. So if you guys were to look at this one, again, what is the cube root asking? The cube root is asking what number multiplied by itself three times. We have negative 5, and we have a times a times a. So my answer is negative 5a.